so here we are at the mural from Mitch Aronson and uh, Frank Carson, done in 1973. Uh, from our research, our understanding is, is that this is the only psychedelic mural in Sacramento County. And at the present time, uh, there are other murals that could be read as psychedelic, but this is the only one that was actually made during that frame time. And uh, there are some in LA, there are some in San Francisco, Chicago, New York, bigger cities, but we have this one here from Frank Carson and Mitch Aronson. We think from our research and the people we've talked to is that the side that is red or has the red background is Frank Carson and the side that is black is Mitch Aronson. We think we will talk to one of the two, one of them is alive, and we will find out how that actually went down. Yeah, so the mural, this, this section here, you can see this is white from a cloud. There was, you can see we have these little rainbows down there both left and right, and then this rainbow here, which goes in a circle, creates a portal, and that portal is to the sky. So the artist decided to repaint the sky, and you can see the psychedelic motif that they have that runs through everything. Stars, you got, you know, a Medusa-type character, but definitely not a Medusa-type character. Uh, maybe a little bit of rock and roll hair. I don't know what to call that. You can see these big flakes right here. This, kind, this type of damage is typically water damage. And you can see these little lines and cracks that when they ripped off the roof, it exposed moisture to the backside of the mural, which caused the paint to be pushed out from the su substrate itself. Uh, the smaller flaking, as opposed to the bigger flaking, which is water damage, the smaller flaking is caused by uh, ultraviolet light or basically light damage. And the story goes, if you look very carefully, underneath the nine and the seven in 1973, you will see a faint image of a purple dot. Now that is Mitch Aronson's signature. Uh, at the end of the completion, or near the end of the completion of the mural, Frank and Mitch had an aesthetic disagreement and uh, Mitch didn't feel like he wanted to put his name on it, so he just put a micro dot or a purple dot, which uh, my understanding was a form of acid back in the day. And one of the things we'd like to do is to be able to put Mitch's, uh, Mitch Aronson, keep the purple dot, but also put his name there. The, the idea to preserve the mural uh, and was fought for by Ali Yosefi. You know, he really wanted that to see that happen. Um, and we're the crew that's doing it.